All right, number one says compare the pairs of fractions by reasoning about the size of the units. Use greater than, less than, or equal to. All right, so we don't need to explain. We are going to talk about our reasoning. We're not going to write our reasoning down. Deal? Deal. All right, so one-fourth and one-fifth. If it's hard for you to look at them in writing, what's the way, how could you change that? Jacob? Draw a picture. Draw a picture or just jot them down like in their fractional form like this, right? All right, so what do we notice about the numerators? Everyone, what did we notice? Same. same. So when the numerators are the same, you have to go down to the denominator. denominator. All right, so we have fourths and fifths. So which one is going to be bigger? Tanner? How do you know? You are correct. Yes, the smaller number has bigger pieces. Yeah, so our fourth is going to be bigger. Great job. All right, three fourths and three fifths. Again, I am going to draw mine out like this because it's easier for me to think about. All right, someone walk me through this one. Austin H, walk me through it. Uh, three fourths is bigger. All right, how'd you how'd you come up to the, how'd you come up with that? Because if you split it into fifths, you'll have smaller pieces than fourths. Okay, and back up one more step further. What did you look when you saw the numerators? What did you see? They're the same. So then you looked at the denominators, and he said that a fourth is bigger than a fifth. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this one is. Greater three fourths is greater than three fifths. Yes, Jacob. And uh, three fifths is two more fifths to all of them. <coughs> three fourths is one more fourth. Yeah, yeah, good job. All right, one tenth and one twelfth. Someone walk me through this one. Corvian, go for it. Yes, exactly. You're right on. Great job. All right, we have one left. Seven tenths and seven twelfths. <coughs> Mackenzie, walk me through it. You got it. Great job. All right, number two, compare by reasoning about the following pairs of fractions with the same or related numerators. Use greater than, less than, or equal to. Explain your thinking using words, pictures, or numbers. Problem 2B has been done for you. Let's go ahead and let's cross off or and make that an and. Because I think we are going to do both, okay? Numbers easily, picture easily, words easily, right? We can do it. So 2B, I don't know why they didn't do 2A, but they did 2B for us. So let's check out their work. They said that 2 fifths is less than 4 ninths. And it, their reasoning was because 2 fifths is equal to 4 tenths. 4 tenths is less than 4 ninths because tenths are smaller than ninths. Do you guys agree with that? Would you rather have four tenths of a pizza or four ninths if you were super duper hungry? Four ninths. Four ninths, yes. All right, so here's their picture. They just showed the equivalent fraction. So they said two fifths is equal to four tenths. So these were kind of hard to look at, but making those numerators the same made it a little bit easier, right? All right, so let's scooch over to A and look at this one. Three fifths and three fourths. Well, luckily, our numerators are, they're good to go, right? So, um, you know, let's, we don't need to do all three things because this one, for some reason, I thought we would need to draw a picture, but we don't need to for that one. So, you guys tell me, what one is greater? The numerators are the same, so we go to the denominators. We have fifths and fourths. And we always pick the smaller number. The smaller number has bigger pieces. Pieces, yeah. So three-fourths is greater.
greater than three fifths. Yeah, Did we do that one in the yeah, warm up? No, it's a number one. Oh yeah, right there. It's just backwards, right? Yeah. All right, but we have to let's use reasoning because we still need to do one of these using words, pictures, or numbers. So, um, just tell me, how, fourths are what? Fourths are larger than fifths. Is that pretty painless to write that? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Ready to keep scooching down the page? Yeah. All right, C, 7 elevenths and 7 thirteenths. If the numerators are the same, we go to the denominators. denominators. And we always choose the de denominator that is smaller. Because bigger. the pieces are bigger. So which is bigger? 7 elevenths or 7 thirteenths? 7 11. Kaylee? 7 11. Woohoo, good job. Alright, so give me a reason why. What do I write? Corbian? Yeah, so that would be a really great explanation, but you probably can make it a little bit shorter, right? So can we just scooch down to the very last part where you said 11ths are bigger than 13ths? Yeah, will that work? So 11ths. are greater than 13. I loved his whole explanation though. If that was a, like a quiz or a test where he said to explain something, that would be like the 100% answer right there. Because he explained every step of the problem, right? He said what, from going from one place to the next, how he got there. So great job, Corbian. All right, we have one left on this page. Oh, and it's a tricky one. We have six sevenths and twelve fifteenths. <coughs> Can we make the numerators or the denominators the same somehow? Because that's always what we want to do if we can, right? We talked about that earlier. Al, what do you think? Um, if you And what would be six sevenths times two be, Al? Um, twelve fourteen. So now what is the same? And our, if we if we cross this off and put twelve fourteenths here, what do we have that's the same? Our numerators are the same, right? And that will help us. All right. So keep going with your reasoning. I'm sorry. And, um, 14, 14, so yeah, fourteenths are bigger than fifteenths. Do you guys agree? Just slightly, but they're bigger. So would you rather have 12 fourteenths or 12 fifteenths? 12 fourteenths. So 6 sevenths is greater than 12 fifteenths. And again, for our reasoning, we can just say 14 are larger than 15. Got it? Okay, flip the page. Oh, this is a long one. We might um we might skip over a few problems and I'll have you guys do those at the end of the partner or for homework, okay? I won't give you, you probably won't get to the homework tonight. Okay, draw two tape diagrams. How many tape diagrams? Two. Two, so let's underline that. Draw two tape diagrams to model each pair of the following fractions with related denominators. Use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare. 
All right, so two-thirds and four-sixths. Oh, sorry. Two-thirds and five-sixths. How can I compare those, making the denominators equal? Noah? Uh, two times those by two. My two-thirds? Huh? Yeah, and that would give me what? Um, four-sixths. Yeah, so let's just draw a quick little tape diagram of that. So first, let's draw the thirds. Easy, right? And we'll shade two of them in. And then we'll, we'll cut them in half, and now we have... We have what? Four six. Four, four six. So two thirds equals four six. And then let's go ahead and draw our five six right below it, and we should get a good picture of which one is bigger. Which one is bigger? Two thirds or five six? Five six. Five six, right? Not too bad? Okay, let's try the next one. Three fourths and seven eighths. So let's just go ahead to start and just draw our three fourths in right away. I'll shade three of them in. All right, but we have to compare it to seven eighths. So what can I do to my fourths to um, compare it to eighths? Corvian? Yep, times my two or cut them in half. So now I have how many eighths? Six. Yep, three fourths equals six eighths. And then I can draw my seven eighths right below it. Which one is greater? Everyone, which one's greater? Seven eighths. Seven Okay, I know we're moving super quick. Are you guys with me still? Okay. One and three fourths and one and seven twelfths. How do we, when we do tape diagrams, how can I show one? A whole. Brendan? Yeah, you could separate it into different pieces, or you could also do it this way. You could just make these your holes. So this could be one, and this could be one. And then you could have a separate little tape diagram over here for your pieces. For me, that's a little bit easier to remember, but either way would work for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our three-fourths in on this, on this one over here. But I have to make it equivalent to what? Twelfths? How can I make this equivalent to 12? David? Um, times it by three? Yeah, times it by three or split each of these little pieces into three pieces. Which is going to give me what? Nine twelfths. David says nine twelfths. Do you guys agree with him? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, so now I'm going to put my 12s down here. All right, now I have to shade in how many of them? All right, so what, which one is greater, 1 and 3 fourths or 1 and 7 twelfths? 1 and 3 fourths, because it is e equivalent to what, 1 and... Nine twelfths. You got it. Okay, that was a tricky one. It's just a lot of steps, huh? All right, flip it over. All right, we'll just do a couple of each of these. Draw one number line to model each pair of fractions with related denominators. Use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare. All right, so we have to... Oh, these are related. They're not the same, but they're related. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw a number line from 0 to 1. 
zero, one, oops, one. And I'll mark my halfway mark. All right, where would two thirds go? What could I do to make two thirds on here, I should say? David? Um, it covers the whole, so it's past one half. So it's it bigger than a half, but I wouldn't say it's almost one whole. So what can I do to this number line to figure out where two thirds go? Brendan? Divide the number line into three sections. And then on the second line is um, where two thirds are part. Yeah, I agree. It's two thirds. Right about there. All right, what about five six? Where would that one belong? Tyler? Yeah, so is two thirds though. So how, what's the difference, Tyler? Two thirds has to make a bigger jump. Exactly, exactly. So which one is bigger, guys? Five six or two thirds? Five six. Five six. All right, we're gonna jump all the way down to number five. Compare each fraction using greater than, less than, or equal to. Draw a model if you choose to. If you choose to. Do you have to? No. Nope. No. If you choose to. All right. Three-fourths and three-sevenths. I hear three-fourths by a bunch of you. How do you, someone walk me through how they got there. Corvian? Yep, you got it. Three fourths is bigger than three sevenths. All right, let's do F. Seven over three and seven over four. This is tricky, huh? No? Garrett, what do you think? Seven over three. Why do you think seven over three? Yes. What you are right. So this works on what kind of numbers? Because we haven't done one of these with a num with fractions like these. Corbian? As long as yep, as long as the numerators are the same. Are these numbers bigger than one? Yeah. Yeah, this one's bigger than two. So yeah. these are these are numbers that have holes in them and it still works. Um, and that is where I'm going to stop you for homework tonight. I want you to finish four, five, and six. Okay? Finish problems four, five, and six. All of the letters. Okay? So just finish this page. Got it? It's not time to go yet, so have a seat.